everyone. Happy Wednesday. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> it's Monday. I've had a crazy day here today. Thank you for joining me. My name is Laura Milligan and it is Monday, April 15th. It's tax day. And um, I had to run to the post office this morning to get some um, postage and um, some stamps and it was pretty busy there. So hopefully you all have already filed your tax return and you didn't have to go to the post office today. That's not why I went. But anyway, I hope you're all having a good day. We have a glorious day here in Canton, Ohio. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's not too hot. It's just perfect. And so thank you all for joining me today. Um, I hope you had a great weekend. Um, let me know if you leave a comment, say hi. Let me know if you did anything fun this weekend. Um, we saw a movie that we enjoyed and um, just kind of laid low, trying to get caught up on everything because our life has been so crazy lately. But um, say hi. There's Hi, Debbie. Hi, Susie. Hi, Anne-Marie. Thank you all for joining me today. Um, I have one really beautiful card that I'm going to share with you today. Um, we are crazy in my studio. We have like, I don't know, it seems like 50 different things going on at once this week. Um, we are working on getting catalogs in the mail and preparing for my in-person um, catalog pickup day, which is always really fun. Uh, my favorite part, of course, is that I get to see all my um, local Stampin' friends, and um, that's all. That's always really fun when they all when they all come to visit my studio. Um, if you are not local to me, you will be, and you are a current customer, you will be receiving a catalog from me um, so look for that um, hopefully soon and let me go ahead and turn my camera view down um, I have a couple things I'm going to talk about and then I'm going to make a real pretty card for you today all right so let's see okay so a um, couple things I'm going to talk about hi Colleen hi Anne hi Deborah don't want to don't want to miss anybody. Okay, so a couple things I want to talk about. I if you are on my customer email list, you would have received several emails from me over the last uh, week or so. There's a lot going on, and I I'm just emailing different things that I'm offering so that you're in the know of all these different things. So the first one is my annual catalog designer series paper share always very popular. It's a great way to get a sampling of all of the designer papers in our new catalog. Um, there's a lot and they are all beautiful. This way you get a sampling. It's a fraction of the cost. I have several different options. Um, if you're not on my customer email list, you should be. Um, so sign up for that. But if you're not, um, you can go to my blog. And I also believe I posted the options on um, my Facebook page here as well. But if you go to my blog, lauramilligan.com, you can find um, information on my paper share and then also my In Color Club. And I've been offering this for many, many years. Um, and I have two different options for that. And I just want to show you the colors. So there's Pretty in Pink, Shy Shamrock. I showed you these last week and I did a color comparison. Um, here's Peach Pie, Summer Splash, and Petunia Pop. So look for information on my In Color Club. Again, I have two different options. Um, so you have, you know, you have a choice. Um, it's a good way to get all of the in colors, all pretty much all of the products, um, the ink pads, the refill, the ink refills, the cardstock. There's ribbon two different um, gems, there's glimmer paper, and there are blends. I believe that's everything I'm including in mine. So again, information it, it would have come out to you in an email. This one I believe just went out this morning. Um, and then you can also find the information on my blog, lauramilligan.com. So very exciting time and it's always good to um, have some new colors to work with. The other new color that we have, which I did mention last week, um, it's not a part of the in colors, but we have a new basic um, neutral, basic color, I guess they call it, and that's basic beige. So that is a new um, color that's been added to the Stampin' Up! color families. So, all right. So I am going to be releasing a class this afternoon um, featuring the Encircled in Nature 
bundle. This is my bee box for the month of April. The bee box is a class that I do with my demonstrator friend Sherry Roth from Canada. So if you live in Canada, you can get this class from her. If you live in the United States, you can get it from me. And this one um, features this gorgeous bundle. This was one of those bundles. It's an online exclusive. And when I saw this, I thought, I don't know, I could probably do without this. I, I, it was not like when I first saw it, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm definitely getting this one. But then what always happens is I got a card in the mail, got a beautiful card in the mail. It was from Barb. She's in my downline. It was a sympathy card. And I saw that card and because of Barb, and sometimes she's watching my Facebook lives. She's not on, I haven't seen her on here yet, but Barb always, uh, we kind of joke around because, um, I am her upline. She is in she signed up to be a demonstrator under me and she always says that, you know, she doesn't think that she wants a stamp set or bundle until she sees a card that I make with it on these Facebook lives. And so, Barb, I just have to tell you that now now you have returned the favor to me because your beautiful card that you sent me um, made me want to um purchase this bundle and offer it as a class. So, I think you will love the um the bee box this month um it will be released today and it will the um, registration will close on april 26th so you so you have a two full weeks to register um so let me just show you the dies this is a this is a beautiful beautiful set so you have the beautiful you have the of course the stamp set um, some flowers, some trees, flowers, different things, beautiful set of words. Um, and then these are the dies. And so let me just pull in my card. This is, I guess you could call this a monochromatic card. Um, it is Misty Moonlight. And I am using the Nate, uh, Earth and Elements Designer Series paper. And this is this is the packet that we're using for our class. Um, you'll also get some gems. And um, if you order from me, you're gonna get a new wink of Stella, which we love. That has been unorderable for so long. And so um, that will be included in your kit as well. But you'll have enough supplies to make eight cards, two each of four different cards. Not the one that I'm making today, but I like to showcase the bundle so that you can kind of see it in action. Here's the back side of these. These are, I love these beautiful, beautiful colors. So, all right, let me get my parts and pieces out here and let's see what we're gonna do. So I have taken this piece of designer paper from the Earth and Textures. Hi, Tanae, how are you? Hi, Marsha, hi, Sarah, hi, Connie. I don't think, I, I hope I didn't miss anybody. Okay, so this is just a four by five and a quarter panel and this is with that Earth and Textures Designer Series paper. There's the back side. And I have my Thick Basic White base. Thick Basic White, I like to actually score with my Stampin' Trimmer um, rather than just fold it in half because it is so thick. That's why I like it. But I think if you score it first, it, it, gives, it a, gives it a nice crisp fold, which we like. All right, so I'm gonna start and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this on here. I'll do a little bit of gluing first and then we'll we'll go from there with our stamping. This is this um, bundle is really like there's so many looks that you can get with this bundle. Um, of course, the earthy, you know, with the pine trees, nature, that kind of thing, but then these gorgeous flowers. One of the cards that I designed for the class features these flowers, and um, I think it's really beautiful. If I do say so myself, while I'm getting these parts and pieces out from under here, let me draw your attention to this. If you place an order through me, um, lauramilligan.com, um, if you shop my online store and your order is less than, your product order is less than $150, Please use this code because I'm going to send you a thank you, which will be, of course, a hand stamped card and then a pack of the, this month is the Purple Shimmer 
gems. They are beautiful. Um, if you use this host code, if your order is more than $150, that's okay. You'll still get the card. You'll still get the gems um, and you will enjoy your own host rewards. So, okay. Hi, Marianne. Hi, Judy. Okay. So my next piece is cut. This is regular white three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. It's just a titch smaller than my designer series paper panel. And before I attach this, I'm gonna set this aside and let me just show you. So this is, this panel is regular white, basic white, and I have used the embossed brick 3D embossing folder. This, I love this one because it's just kind of, a, it adds some texture. Um, I don't know if you can, let me see if we can pick up on, there you go. It's just kind of a generic, sort of a grungy type look. I think it goes with almost everything. That's the exposed brick. And then I'm gonna show you what else I did. So I have this, this piece here, it's three and three quarter inches square. And I have used for this, um, let me show you these. These are the dies. So for this one, let me pull this out of the way here. So I've taken this and I have actually cut, so here's the big um, die that I did not use for this card. Here's the small one. And so you can see how that just fits in there. But for the class, one of the things we're doing um, is creating like a window. And so we, I did end up using both of those. But for this one, I just cut this shape out using the smaller of the two dies. And then I have, used Misty Moonlight cardstock and um, this die, let me see, this is a gorgeous, Cindy says you have so much going on it's hard to keep up with you. Yeah, tell me about it, it's kind of crazy. But you know, it's the, it's the new, it's the launch of the new catalog and there always are a lot of things going on. So I just wanna make sure everybody knows and um, we do work hard here. Um, and I, I fortunately have a lot of help so couldn't do it without my helpers. So I've taken this die, cut out this really pretty floral looking wreath. Um, and then I have taken also Misty Moonlight cardstock and cut out this set of four trees or five trees, five trees. So we have those and set that aside. And then I have this little panel. It's like, I don't know. Okay, it's like five eighths inches by three. And the words that I'm gonna use are here for you, which is really nice. This would be a nice, I don't know, there's something about this stamp set makes me feel peaceful. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna put that on there like that. Here for you, I'm gonna take my paper snips Yes, the Debbie, the In Color Club does come with blends. It does not come with markers this month or this this time I'm offering it. Um, you can add on the markers if you want, but it does include the blends. Um, let me look at this. Okay, yes, yeah, so I have a miss. Thank you for pointing that out. So I did forget those. It does include them, I'm sorry. Um, now I've had a mistake in that. Sorry about that, but yes, it does include the blends. I'll have to correct that. All right, so I'm gonna just do like this. So basically the In Color Club includes everything but the markers, which are different than the blends. Hopefully that all makes sense. All right, and then I'm gonna set my uh, Misty Moonlight ink pad aside for a second and go ahead and work on the front of the card. So I'm gonna take this panel, and the first thing I wanna do is just take a little bit of my um, stamp and seal. And I'm just gonna put it about, oh, just a little bit on the back side here. Um, I'm gonna tie some linen thread around this, and this will just help secure that a bit. Okay, so let me just put this here like 
this. And I'm going to go ahead and just tie this in a knot. Yeah, sorry about that, Debbie. So in the past, so in the past, I've always included the markers, and then I just thought I think I could eliminate those. And if people want them, they can add them on. Um, since they come in one, they all come in the same pack. Um, so. But you do get the blends. Okay, so I'm going to tie a bow in that, snip the ends off. Yeah, believe it or not, sometimes I do make mistakes, right? <laughs> I know that's hard to believe. Ha ha ha. LOL. I'm just I'm just joking here because it's a lot to keep track of, and I am not perfect, as you know. So, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and um, glue this panel down. I think it looks pretty even just like this, isn't it pretty? It's a little bit, that's a little bit too simple. So can you buy the markers for just the in colors for this year? Yes, you can. Yes, you can just buy the markers. It's one case. I forget the cost of them, but um, it's in the new catalog. Off the top of my head, I don't know what they are. Okay, so I've got this panel here, like this. All right, then I am going to take this piece, it's gonna go here, let's get my words straightened up here. This is gonna go on here, and first thing I'm gonna do is take my trees. Doesn't this card just make you feel a little bit peaceful? This is gonna be tucked behind this circle, and so what I'm gonna do is just dab a little bit of glue on the back of this, And I'm just going to sort of position this. It's going to be about like that. Let me just make sure that's... Yep, that looks great. I am going to put a little dab of glue on the back of this. I thought I did, but oh, I did, but it, apparently it just was not quite enough. So we'll hold that down a minute. Okay, so there we have our little trees. Give them a second to stick. Then I'm gonna take this piece that has the, the um, circle cut out and pop this up with some dimensionals. Just put four of those. We've got that. And then this piece, the beautiful wreath, is just, I'm going to turn this. Um, and it's going to, it's going to go over, you know, it's going to be on the inside and the outside of the circle. Um, I'm mainly going to just do some dabbing around the outside edge with my glue. And the stems, mainly just here and there on the outside edges. Does that make sense about the In Color Club? I, I see Cindy was asking as well. I'm glad you asked because I try to, um, you know, make it as clear as possible for, for you. Sometimes it's easier to say it to you, right, rather than... Um, Okay, so there we have that. You know what, I need to turn this a bit. There we go, that looks better. Okay, so we have that. I've got glue places where I don't want it, so I'm just gonna take my adhesive eraser and um, get rid of that excess and 
and I can do that later because you get the idea with that. And then, um, whoops. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going. Um, and then I have my words. My words are gonna just be popped right on here like this. So what I'm gonna do is just take, um, let's see if I can find, so here's my mini dots and I'm gonna just put one on the top and one on the bottom of this so that it's kind of staggered um, around the linen thread. The linen thread is not that thick anyway. I think it'll be just fine, but I don't wanna put a dimensional right on top of it. Hi, Pat, how are you? Hi, Marsha. Okay, so we have this. It's gonna go there like that. It's so soft, it's just soft and pretty, right? Okay, so we have that part. And then I am gonna add some gems. These are the iridescent foil gems. They're really pretty. Um, they have a shimmery foil, really pretty. Some of them are more of a goldish look. Um, we've got that, that, and I think I'll put another small one, maybe right there like that. So I have my triangle there. Okay. And then on the inside, I'm just gonna take, and I could do the same thing on the envelope. Um, I'm going to take, this big tree image with my Misty Moonlight ink. Yeah, it's just a soft, this card, I, I don't know, it just makes, it makes me feel peaceful. Maybe something about the woods. Um, the fact that I got ink all over the front where I didn't want it does not make me feel peaceful, but yeah, it's okay. Okay, so there we have a little bit of trees going on there. And then, um, you mean so much to me is the word I'm going to put on the inside. And let's see, I think I'll put that just about right there like that. Okay, you mean so much to me. And then, you know, I like to put a gem on the inside, a gem or two. I think for this one today, I'm just going to put um, one I think I'll put it right there, like that. Okay, so let me bring in, here's here is my sample one, um, but look how pretty, it's just pretty, and this is, a, again, featuring the Encircled in Nature bundle. It will be offered starting later today um, as my B box, which is my class, one of my classes to go that I offer. Um, this is not one of the cards you would get in the kit, but like I said, I like to um, give you, you know, another idea for whatever um, bundle or stamps that I'm featuring in a, in a class. So here's a, another idea with that. And um, like I said, you could use, do the same thing that was on the inside. You could put that on the envelope. That would be really pretty. You could also take a piece of the designer paper and um, put that on the flap. Um, so there, there you have that, and that is a quick and easy, short Facebook Live today. So thanks, everybody. I'm glad that you liked it. I thought it was pretty. Um, it's just peaceful, right? Just a peaceful, soothing card. I think people would love to get this in the mail. Here's another look at it. Okay, so I will be back on Monday. Um, Hopefully you all start to be getting your catalogs in the mail um, soon, and um, that's always an exciting time. Let me know what you think about the catalog. I've heard really good um, comments from those that have seen it already um, and have, have been loving it, so I'm, I'm excited to share it all with all of you. So I will be back um, next Monday, and um, I certainly appreciate you joining me today. Take care, my friends, and as always... I hope you have time to be creative today. Bye-bye. Thanks so much.